Blessed be the one holy and living God. Glory to God forever and ever. Let us pray. Loving God, we, your children, gather on this day to give you thanks for coming among us as a tiny infant. Just as Mary and Joseph opened their hearts to receive him, open our hearts as well, O God. Just as the animals gave him their manger for a bed, help us give ourselves to him, O God. Just as angels and all the company of heaven sang to welcome him, so let us sing with joyful voices, O God. Amen. Please join me in saying the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Now, if you would like to gather together your crush figurines or toys, please join us in a retelling of the Nativity story. This night is like no other night. It is a time to dream and sing our way to Bethlehem. The children will show us how to go. The little town we seek sits in the hill country some 10 miles south of Jerusalem. For thousands of years, the houses have huddled there on the hilltop like a family breaking bread. The word Bethlehem means house of bread. All is still and quiet in the little town. As night gathers, the last two travelers come slowly up the road with their donkey. Look, there is a young woman about to be a mother. She is walking with her husband. They are Joseph and Mary from Nazareth. They have walked for six days to come to this place where David the king was born so long ago. They have come, like so many others, because the Roman emperor wants to count each one so he can take their money as a tax. But it is late, and Mary is weary. Where will they sleep? There is no room in the inn. They decide to sleep with the animals. Stars brighten slowly in the sky. 
all creation holds its breath. Suddenly, from the stable, comes the cry of a newborn child. Mary gently wraps the baby in a blanket and lays him in the feed box filled with straw. hills outside Bethlehem, shepherds watch their shadowy sheep. All at once, the dark is lost in light, and in the midst of the light is something even brighter, the faces of angels. The fearful shepherds then hear singing in the sky, and a voice says, Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy a joy to be shared by all people. Today in the city of David, a Savior is born. He is Christ the Lord. Then more angels appear, a whole heavenly host of them, praising God and singing, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will to all people everywhere. The shepherds run with joy across the fields to Bethlehem, to the barn behind the inn. There they find the holy family and creep forward, overwhelmed with mystery, to find nativity itself in the center of all that love. Three camels plod up the road to Bethlehem. They have come from the east, far beyond the Arabian desert, perhaps as far as the Caspian Sea. The camels carry three kings, the wise ones, and the magi. They are following the wild star, the destiny they had never seen before. They are following it, wherever it goes, to find the king. Its shining shows them. The Magi's journey ends in a new kind of king. Their restlessness rests at last. They fall to their knees and give him bright gold, sweet-smelling frankincense, and bitter myrrh, brought so far with so much love. So now we all come, following the star, to find God with us. We come as people have come all through the ages, 
to bring our own gifts to this child, who is God's gift to us. Let the children show us the way now. Bring your gifts of stars and of yourselves to place around the manger. Show us the way into the mystery of Christmas as we sing, for this night is filled with holy song. Please join me as we reaffirm our faith. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God of power and might, shine your radiance and come quickly to this weary world. Hear our prayers for everyone in need. Please respond by saying, hear our prayer. Dear Jesus, you came to us as a fragile infant. Help us to care for everyone who is fragile and in need and to do so in your name. Be with those who grieve or hurt or are lonely this day. God, in your love, hear our prayer. Help us turn away from the lure of earthly power and orient our hearts toward heaven instead. Guide the leaders of this land to do likewise. God, in your love, hear our prayer. In our busy and crowded lives, remind us and assist us always to make room in our hearts for you, dear Jesus. God, in your love, hear our prayer. Be with those we love who have died. Let them shine in your presence like stars in the Bethlehem sky. God, in your love, hear our prayer. And in all things, dear Jesus, help us recall the words of your holy angels and be not afraid. God, in your love, hear our prayer. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we who have known the mystery of that light on earth may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven where with you and the Holy Spirit, he lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen.
Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us, who, by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, his mother, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself, in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. The gifts of God for the people of God, holy things for holy people.
At this time, you are welcome to either consume the reserved elements that you have at home, to plan to join us at the church if it's Christmas Eve at either 3 p.m. or 7 p.m. for Holy Communion distribution there, or to read the words printed in your order of service for spiritual communion, which imparts the full benefits of receiving the elements. I will not be joining you in those prayers as I will be partaking at this time. Please join me in the post-communion prayer. Loving God, we give you thanks for restoring us in your image and nourishing us with spiritual food in the sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Now send us forth a people, forgiven, healed, renewed, that we may proclaim your love to the world and continue in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. May the grace of God uphold you, the peace of God surround you, the love of God flow from you, and the strength of God protect and bring you safely through this day. The blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit abide in you and remain with you today and all your days. Amen. Let us go forth into the world, 
rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia.